Welcome everyone to Fox Tech. In today's video, I'm going to guide you through the process of turning off parental permissions for apps on your iPhone. Whether you've set up restrictions for a child and no longer need them, or you're simply looking to regain full control over your device. I'll show you exactly how to manage these settings through screen time. Let's start by understanding where all these parental permissions are managed. On an iPhone, the key place to control app permissions, content restrictions, and other settings is within screen time. Screen time is a built-in feature that not only tracks how much time you spend on your device, but also allows you to set limits and restrictions, especially useful for managing a child's device. If you no longer need these restrictions, you can disable them easily. Once you're in the settings app, scroll down until you see screen time and tap on it. This section is where all the controls for managing and monitoring usage are located. To turn off parental permissions, you'll need to focus on the content and privacy restrictions, Isan section. Tap on content and privacy restrictions. If you've set up a screen time passcode, which is usually different from your device's unlock code, you'll be prompted to enter it now. This passcode is essential because it locks these settings, ensuring that only someone with the passcode can make changes. If you don't have the passcode set up, you'll be able to make changes without any prompts once you're inside the content and privacy restrictions section, you'll see a toggle switch at the top. To completely disable all restrictions, simply toggle this switch off. This action will turn off all the parental controls and restrictions that were set up under screen time, giving you full access to all apps and settings on the device. If you don't want to disable all restrictions, but rather adjust specific permissions, you can scroll down within this section and manage individual settings. Decide which apps are allowed or set specific high content restrictions. You know, this level of control allows you to keep some restrictions in place while turning off others, depending on what you need. Remember, having the screen time passcode is crucial for making these changes. If the settings are locked with a passcode, you'll need it to proceed. Without the passcode, changes can be made freely. So it's important to keep it secure if you're managing a child's device. And that's it. You now know how to turn off or adjust parental permissions for apps on your iPhone using the screen time settings. Whether you're disabling all restrictions or just tweaking a few, these steps will give you the flexibility you need. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to Fox Tech for more tech tips and tutorials. See you guys later.